time to update to Windows 10 Redstone 2 build 14 oh, 1905 I think no 14905 sorry right now I'm in RS2 build 9 14901 time to update to 4905 As you could see that because uh, there's a thingy on the bottom of the desktop and I could go to Winver Winver enter and there you go, OS build 14901, and you could go away as well, please. Okay, now, what I want to do is I want to update to the latest Insider build, which is 14905, as I said earlier. Making sure that I'm on the fast ring. Windows update, no updates available. When did you last check? It didn't say last checked because it never checked for updates since I last updated the new build. So let's check now. Let's do update history. New update history. Did I delete windows.old? Recovery, go back to an earlier build. This option is no longer available because you upgrade, your PC was upgraded more than 10 days. Or What? Okay, so this there's a grammar error here. As you can see here, let me do a screen cap. Screen sketch right there. So it says this option was upgraded more than 10 days ago. Uh, Pure grammar error. I have to report it in the feedback hub. Uh, it, you either have to say this option is no longer available because your PC was upgraded more than ten days. No, that's fine. I think it's fine. Sorry, I was thinking like more than ten days ago. Is that right? It sounds really weird. Your PC was upgraded more than ten days earlier. That sounds fine. Or your PC was upgraded 10 days ago. That's. I guess. Yeah, I guess that works. Never mind. It was. It's not a grammar error. It just sounded wrong and I assumed it was a grammar error. But it, technically, it's correct. Uh, your PC was upgraded more than 10 days ago. Um, that's fine. Um, I'm just usually saying uh, when I use the word more than and. Uh, uh, I don't usually typically use the word more than, more than and uh, ago together. I usually say more than 5 days earlier or longer than five days but yeah there you go now uh, there's a driver update system hardware update preparing to install updates what update is installed I think it's installing the drivers first oh driver oh my god there's a new feature right there driver updates the update history has a more detailed list of updates with collapsible information I guess if there was other patches there would be another update that says Patch updates, driver updates. I guess I'll take a screenshot of this. There. That's very cool. It requires restart to finish installing. That's cool. That is very cool. That is very interesting. But too bad the restart will not happen because we're updating to Windows 10 Insider Preview 14905. All right, guys, we're updating. Uh, I just want to take another video showing the download speed. It's a few gigabytes download, and thankfully, Alhamdulillah, our internet is very good here. So the download's doing pretty well. Uh, it's see as you can see the percentage going up. It's not the fastest internet in the world, but I'm glad that uh, we have a good internet speed here. You went from 24 to 25 percent, as you can see, and uh, 26. Will it go to 27? Will it go to 30? I don't know. Oh, wait, we went to 27. Let's see if it goes to 30. 28. Let's count to 10. 1, 2, 3, oh, 24, 5, 6, 7. Oh, it reached 30 before I could count to 10. That is awesome. There you go. A restart is required to finish, finish installing the following updates. Windows 10 Insider Preview 14905. All right, we are at uh, the downloading completed. It's only been five minutes, I believe. Uh, 10 minutes at most um you could have checked the clock it says right there if you compare the time before when i stopped versus now anyway restart is required windows 10 and started inside preview 14 14905 uh downloading completed preparing to install updates five percent well oh whoop! Well, we jumped to 14 percent i was just about to stop the recording well oh 23 percent wow it's doing it faster than i thought it's going to restart and we're going to inshallah going be seeing the update to the new build all right i think it's completed uh, we have the installation complete we have two things that require a start system hardware com 
update will be a failure because this is actually upgrading to a build so I'm going to restart so when I restart this update process will be happening and after the update another system driver update would need to be installed so this update is was a total waste so restart is required to finish installing the updates let's do update history the only driver updates is being shown here but yeah so it's time to restart now I cannot record my screen anymore so that means from now on it'll be through my phone all right, folks, we're restarting the PC right now. Restarting, and it's going to start the update, inshallah, right now. It's now configuring update for Windows 10. This is the thing that says that's a pre-update. A configuring update for Windows 10, 35 seconds complete, do not turn off your computer. This is what it says before, actually, the actual update starts. This actually happens every time... There's a new build update, so this is what you see when you upgrade, upgrade from Windows 7 to 10, Windows 8 to 10, or win, from a Windows 10 mm, a normal to Windows 10 anniversary update, or from a build to build. So yeah, this is what you see first. It'll get to 100, and then it'll do a real update where it says, uh, working on updates, uh, and part 1 of 2 or 1 of 3, uh, something percent complete, and do not turn off your computer. So yeah, there you go. I do not plan to continue any more videos, I'll come back when this is complete. All right, folks, the update has been completed. It's 3.23 p.m. Wednesday, 17th of August. Let's do it. Password time. I'll pause the video now. And it logged in immediately. Let's see if I'm on the new build. It says 14.905. If you don't believe me, let's check out PC settings. Let's go to update and recovery. Um, no, no, that's not updated. I have to go to home, system, about, we are at, um, OS build 14905. There we go. We are on the new, new build. Now, it's time to update the Windows 10 mobile device. We're going from the normal, the anniversary update of 14395. Or 14394.87 all the way to 14905 this build so let's get started with updating Windows 10 mobile all right guys now it's time to update the Windows 10 mobile device I use this phone the Nokia Lumia 830 to actually record my tablet my surface which upgraded from build 14901 sorry 14901 to 14905 I use this phone to record it. Now I'm going to use the tablet that I just updated to record this phone that I used to record with and update this phone from the anniversary update to 14393 to 14905. The same build my tablet's running. So let's get started. So let's see. Let me put my tablet down. All right. Let's see right there. Yeah. All right. Okay. Good. And then there's my phone. So let's up unlock this. Swipe up. Type in my pin. All right. As you can see, I'm already on the settings app and update process initialized. Uh, what What's interesting here is I'm going to go to settings. I'm gonna, let me focus my device here. Focus. Focus. I can't manual focus on this tablet so sorry about that guys so what I'm going to do is do it from here I guess I don't know I don't know how to make it focus Ooh. okay I don't think it's made possible to make this camera focus it has no auto focus so anyway we don't have to do it like that I'm sorry guys but anyway if I go to system and about you will see it's running uh, build 14393.82 now this is interesting this is a build I got yesterday. Uh, before this, it was on build 14393.67, I believe. And basically what happened is Microsoft released uh, build 14393.82 uh, to release preview members. So basically, uh, if I, I was in the fast ring on the insider preview, see if I go to insiders, you could choose your rings, choose your insider levels. I'm on the fast ring. So basically... Uh, Microsoft released that 
14393.87 only to release preview users and I'll explain why that is. So I didn't get the update yesterday so I was running an older build by being on the fast ring. So yesterday night I switched to the release preview ring, got the new update and today Microsoft released a newer build 14901 or 14905 and I switched back to fast ring. Now I got the update. This was happening while I was updating my Surface. Now if I go to phone update here. Uh, yeah, so it says update 10.0.14905.1000. Uh, the new uh, restart is required for to finish installing the following updates. Your device is scheduled to restart outside of the active hours. Active hours range from 9 a.m. to 10 p.m. And I am at 55% charge. You need to be at least 40 to be able to, um, what do you call it, uh, update it. So I think I can do that. Let's do restart. It is restarting, guys. And sorry again for the bad focusing. This is the best I can do until I get a better camera to record my phone with. Don't forget. Goodbye. Guys, it's restarting again, and we're at the Nokia sign, and you should see the gears icon, inshallah, spinning around. Let's see if that happens, which it should, inshallah. If it, if, if it doesn't happen, it'll either go back to Windows, uh, the Windows lock screen saying that something went wrong, or, oh, did you see the Windows logo for a bit? Or, it'll actually mess up my phone and break the phone, which never happened, but it could at any time happen, happen any time. Because there's not no, no no guarantees, but again, you could see the update sign. The gears are rolling. The progress bar is filling. There's a tiny little prog progress bar. We might come back to it when we get a little further in. Okay, great. All right, guys. It is spinning, and the progress bar is filling.